Hey, back at it again with another Hindsight Plays. Today we'll be going over using sound visuals droning, reasons to slow down, and even more coming right up. Ow. Hey, I just wanted to let you know, the 29th of May this month in 2020, I will be doing a 1000 alpha pack opening over at twitch.tv slash different breed. Be there or you're dead to me. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Different Breed, and if you do, then welcome back. I want to get better at this game, and by reviewing VOD's video on demand, then it will show us how we can improve what we are doing and help us achieve that next higher rank. It's been a little while since I've made one of these hindsights video. I know. I get it. But I'm here now. I checked the Discord, so let's go over what people have posted. Fair warning, the screen will pause or just look laggy. If you're hearing me just fine, the video is fine. I just like to pause, go slow, rewind, all that fun stuff. In this round, we're going to learn the importance of communication, positioning, containing entry, and more. Let's first watch the round, then come back with some insights. The room. We need to protect the biohazard container. located the biohazard container down to 10 seconds down to five seconds op 4 has located the biohazard container Killing hostiles at in position. Voilà, c'est là, il y a. One frame, one frame. So, we're spotting in. We're not doing anything, I don't know. Valuable time we're wasting right here. Val valuable time, what are you doing? Okay, so we're putting down some barbed wire, that's fine. Uh, double barbed wire. Should probably separate that out and cover different areas rather than putting two barbed wire in one spot. Uh, since we just saw this, we know that that right there, you, you prep these windows, but you didn't even like really do anything with them. So I'm unsure of why you were prepping these windows because it didn't really seem like you had any intentions of running out at all. If you don't have any intentions of running out, then just don't even prep the windows. It just doesn't really make too much sense. You're just allowing them to, to have easier access inside. 
You're reinforcing now, and the round has already started. This is something you could have done during the prep phase, and it's wise to do it during the prep phase so that you don't get shot out. Like if that glass was any sooner, so if this glass here who shot you, hold on, let me pause this. So if this glass was any sooner, you would have died while reinforcing that wall that you were just reinforcing. So that's why that you really don't want to reinforce into the round unless it's like more of a safer zone. But we, you could have used that time that you wasted earlier to just do that reinforcing. So holding an angle is good. Now here is a little tricky, right? So it worked out for you here because you can see him and he can't really see you too much. We don't know how much he can see if he looks over to his right. However, peeking a glass is usually something you don't want to do. And usually peeking somebody at a window like this is something you don't really want to do unless you feel super confident in your, your gun skills and you want to really be aggressive and push them. But typically you want to like hold an angle and let your teammates know that somebody's out there so that they don't run into that person. Which also brings up another topic is I didn't hear any communication like at all except one sound from your teammates throughout this entire thing. So that's something you can definitely work on is communication. So good job killing this guy. That was good. But again, I don't know if I would have necessarily peaked it like that. This guy's peeking too and... I mean, it's netting you guys kills, but again, they could go on the downturn and not be so good. So you threw a smoke out here. Now you're throwing a smoke out with no intel whatsoever. So you don't know if anybody's out there. You essentially are wasting your smoke right now. Although you're using it good, so you used it as cover to get down here. So yeah, that can make sense, and I understand that. That could be useful. However, you just go right back up. So basically, you just wasted that smoke and nobody's even out there to take any damage. You hear someone over here. So you're you're peeking and you're doing good. You're using the stairs as cover, which is excellent. Definitely for you, you can cover most of your body and still see something, then that is a really, really good option to do. So just be on the lookout for some of those anywhere you can. Now you saw someone's feet and you decided to throw the smoke out over here. It didn't really push out towards that drone hole over there, but you still set it off. It's not really going to do anything. It's not going to be effective. You are wasting another smoke here, and then you're going to throw one into the hallway here and then set that off, which is wasting another smoke. There's two minutes and nine seconds on the clock right now, and you are out of your utility. That is two whole minutes that this attacking can just push you, and they don't have to worry about your smokes whatsoever. This is not a good situation that you did for your team and yourself is wasting your utility, which is supposed to hold the attackers back from being able to push into a certain position. Now you peek in this person. I don't know where this IQ is looking. She pushed in and then looked behind. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, you were shooting at something, but you, you got her, you got her, which is good, which is good. And then you kind of missed here, which is fine. But at this point, you don't necessarily have to take this risk. So this person on the enemy team just got two kills. I know you're focused on getting this kill and you really want it. However, it's an unnecessary risk because she's already down. She's out of the fight and you should assess where everybody is before you just run out there because this you ended up getting shot at from what I believe is the window to the left over here. So this window over here is where I believe you got shot from. And that could have been avoided if you didn't take that unnecessary risk about getting hit there. Oh, so I lied. So this indication is down here. So I'm assuming it was the, maybe it was the hall window then? It might've been the hall window. So that sledge, if we rewind here, that sledge who killed, we listen. So we're hearing it from our left. This sledge just killed two people and I'm assuming it's from that left window there. So that's probably where you got shot from because you exposed yourself to that window. So now your back is towards, now your back over here is towards that window and you are exposing yourself to be getting shot from over there. And that is what got you. And this is the indication I was talking about earlier. So that's probably what got you and 
that was just unnecessary exposure that you did to yourself. You didn't have to do that. You could have gotten killed. Luckily, you didn't, and you only took some damage. But that was pretty dangerous and unnecessary. You, you could have also used her as bait, too. So that's, like, another thing. Bait their team into trying to pick up each other, and then that could, could hurt them. You're looking over here because I think that you thought that you got shot from over there, which is what I thought, too. But you, you didn't. So there was actually nobody over there for you to look at. So you're, again, peeking and exposing yourself unnecessarily. So that was, that was a good peek. I mean, you're getting shot at. You have to look. You know, you have to, to see that. Now, this is the thing, though. Something that you have to recognize. You are defending, right? You're sitting on this biohazard secure area over here and when somebody steps in the room with you it then changes to contested and even this changes color as soon as somebody steps into the room this turns off and it changes complete color so you can see you can visually see that somebody is in the same room as you and you got back up and you stared at this doorway and you didn't even care about the person who was in the same room as you and then you noticed that that person was there you just need to pay attention to what is happening and see the game telling you somebody's in the same room as you and you need to assess is it behind you is it next to you or is it right in front of you and instead of staying hyper focused on that one sledge person in the doorway you would have been able to look over quicker and get the kill. Now you still get the kill, but you did get hurt a whole bunch. But luckily that sledge was distracted and that nook didn't have really super great aim. So it all worked out in the end. However, you know, just some things to think about in the future. Would you guys have done anything different in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you want some help with your games, record them, upload them somewhere, and then put them in the Heinstein's channel in Discord. If it's a good teachable video, we'll go over it right here on this channel. Now let's get back to it. In this clip, we're going to learn about using audio and killing proficiently. Let's first watch, then come back with some insights. door was being barricaded which we heard was on the left side the south side over here so you should have looked over there first you didn't i don't know why but all right now you decided to just drop down here i'm unsure of why you decided to go ahead and do that um the doc was standing in the doorway which you could have just shot him and, and brought him down but then he came back in and then you decided to jump down so um okay then you got one shot off on him and then you tried to do the same thing you did with the hatch which you couldn't even open the hatch when you were hit firing anyway so i don't know what what you're doing there not sure what this clash is doing over here honestly you should have knifed this doc you shouldn't have taken out your pistol and shot him because it took a couple shots if you just knifed him with your other primary weapon out you would have killed him already then i don't this clash did absolutely nothing as you went around her and just knifed her at him I'm not unsure about that. This Chachanka is, or is it Capcan? I don't know, one of them, is really, really confusing. I don't know why he's looking in the opposite direction of what you were at and how all of his teammates died. Um, so that was a little bit confusing. And then over here is you just ran blindly into this room and you just shot the wrong thing when the alibi who was actually shooting at you, I believe, was like over here. Um, so, yeah. Maybe just don't blindly run into rooms. Maybe all those were prismans. Maybe the person who, who killed you was to your left. Let's see, is there any hit indication or did you just instantly die? Uh, 
uh, no hit indication. So, uh, it could be up anywhere. You just blindly ran into that room and you should not have. Just, uh, slow things down a bit after you kill a couple of people. Relax. Things are going to be okay. Assess the situation and then you can re go into it and figure out where you should be trying to shoot at everybody. If you want a round reviewed, don't forget to post it in the Discord in the Hindsight's Play channel. It will not only help keep this series going, but it will also help us all learn together and become better players. If you want to see some past Hindsight's video, check out the left of your screen or check out something else on your right. And until next time, stay different.